Hello and welcome to the Church of Christ Bridgeport Midday Prayer Session in Devo. Thanks for joining us. Glad to have you along. Today's title is, When It's Hard to Have Hope. And the scripture is taken from Mark 9, 24. Let us read. I believe, but help me with my unbelief. This is our midday thought. When something terrible and devastating happens in your life, and we've all been there, if not, you will, if you live long enough, are you ever tempted to ask, what in the world and how in the world would good come out of this? It looks like a disaster. It feels like a disaster. Therefore, it is a disaster. That's just the way you look at it. You can't see it improving at all. That's when you want to remember God's promises in Mark 9, 24. The father had an issue. It was devastating to him. The disciples couldn't heal his son. Jesus came down from up on the mountain. And he said to Jesus, I, 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 I talked to them and nothing happened. Jesus rebuked them and then he, he said to Jesus, I, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. God doesn't tell you you'll escape suffering or pain. He never said that. In his earthly ministry, Jesus never said that. He just said he'll be with you. He, he'll go through these things with you. He's not going to move the mountain. He'll help you climb it. In bad situations, God is always there. Always remember that. He assures you that you have a great future ahead in spite of the things that you see and the up and downs that go on in your life. You have a great future with God. So just know that. When it's hard to have hope, remember, God will help you with your unbelief. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, dear God, we thank you so much for today once again. It is a day like no other day because it's a new day. Therefore, you're doing new things today. You're not doing the things that you did yesterday. You're doing new things today. Because the day came and it's bringing all the problems that will come with today because it is a day. Sin woke up this morning when we woke up. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is ready to do his job. He was just waiting on you to bring humanity to life on this side of the world. And we thank you for that. Help us, dear God, to understand how important it is with our belief. Help us to not grow weary when things encompass us and wear us down. Help us to have a greater faith then because we know that you will take care of things. Always have and always will. No matter how many times they pop up in our life, you have been there before and you'll be there again. And we thank you because of Jesus. And in the resurrection of his life from the dead, you proved your unconditional love to humanity where all that he viewed himself to seen his resurrected body. And we thank you for that proof. And in Jesus name, we pray these things. Amen. Again, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. If we can help in any way, let us know. Give us a call, stating your name and your request, and we'll make it known to God in prayer.